Welcome to the Monday, July 2nd, 2012 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by Opsinal's Market Insight Report. In today's video, we look at our HRI Movers of the Week, and later the World Trade Organization makes a landmark ruling on U.S. meat labeling. Now let's look at the markets with your host, Jamie Chadwick. Erner Berry would like to remind all of our viewers that our offices will be closed on Wednesday, July 4th, 2012 in observance of the Independence Day holiday. We will resume normal publication Thursday, July 5th. In other news, the outlook for the restaurant industry remained positive for the months ahead as the National Restaurant Association's Restaurant Performance Index stood at 101.4 in May, down 0.2% from April's level of 101.6. Despite the decline, May represented the seventh consecutive month that the RPI stood above 100, which signifies expansion in the index of key industry indicators. Restaurant operators reported positive same-store sales for the 12th consecutive month in May, with sales results similar to their April performance. While sales results remain positive, restaurant operators reported softer consumer traffic results in May. 39% of operators reported lower customer traffic levels, up from 30% in April. For more on the NRA's latest RPI report and for the latest news in the food service industry, please visit foodmarket.com. Now Erner Berry Red Meat Market reporter Russell Barton takes a look at Erner Berry's HRI Buyer's Guide, which is a weekly publication dedicated to current commodity prices being paid to wholesalers and purveyors by hotels, restaurants and institutions. Our biggest gainer last week resided in the veal complex. Veal breasts moved higher as demand was reportedly more active in some areas despite record high price levels. Moving over to the retail pork market, pork loins posted big gains in the past few weeks. Significant demand for commodity pork for the back half of June, meant by short slaughter totals, resulted in moves in most pork items, including bone and loins. Turning to our first item in the red, chuck roll prices have been slipping lower recently due to general weakness in the end cut complex. Export business remains subpar, leading to additional domestic supply. Chuck rolls have also been used in ground beef formulations this year, but a recent pullback in ground beef prices has weighed on the chuck roll market recently. <laughs> Finally, with over 7% in declines, the turkey complex rounds out our movers list. Although at week's end, the undertone in turkey parts is showing improvement, 2012's fair at best domestic demand patterns without aggressive export support have hurt domestic performance. This is true not only of whole wings, but turkey parts as a whole. Recent discounting has produced better clearance, however, with observers anticipate that prices now have an opportunity to begin stabilizing. Thanks for us. To wrap up today's video, Erner Berry staffer Carter Mack discusses the World Trade Organization's ruling on the country of origin labeling for the U.S. meat industry. Today, the World Trade Organization backed Canadian and Mexican claims that the U.S. country of origin labeling provisions violate global trade law and unfairly curb agricultural commerce. In March of 2009, the United States passed legislation stating that food processors must identify the nations from which livestock, meat, and produce originates. Canada and Mexico brought the case to the WTO, raising claims that the respective products were being treated less favorably in the U.S. as a result of the legislation. And on November 18, 2011, the WTO judges ruled in their favor. Shortly after that, the United States attempted to make an appeal on the grounds of a consumer protection issue. In the appellate report, the WTO upheld much of their original ruling only allowing the continuation of the country of origin labeling practices if the legislation goes under a large enough renovation to make sure it is not a technical trade barrier. This leaves retail stores with the option on whether or not they will implement country of origin labeling procedures on a voluntary basis. Thanks Carter, that concludes today's video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Today's video is sponsored by Upsano's Market Insight for the Meat Industry, providing information, education, and insight for the beef, pork, and poultry industries. View a sample report at Upsano.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your free sample today.